The Hebrew term Abaddon Hebrew, Abadwan Abaddon, and its Greek equivalent Apollyon Greek, Apollyon Apollyon appear in the Bible as both a place of destruction and an angel of the abyss. In the Hebrew Bible, Abaddon is used with reference to a bottomless pit, often appearing alongside the place Sewal Shoal, meaning the realm of the dead. In the New Testament book of Revelation, an angel called Abaddon is described as the king of an army of locusts. His name is first transcribed in Greek, Revelation chapter 9 verse 11, whose name in Hebrew is Abaddon, the angel of death, as Abaddon and then translated, which in Greek means the destroyer. Apollyon Apollyon the Latin Vulgate and the Douay Rheims Bible have additional notes not present in the Greek text. In Latin exterminans. Exterminans being the Latin word for destroyer. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Etymology. Topic: <inaudible> According to the Brown Driver Briggs lexicon, the Hebrew abaddon Hebrew abaddon is an intensive form of the Semitic root and verb stem abad. But perish, transitive, destroy, which occurs 184 times in the Hebrew Bible. The Septuagint, an early Greek translation of the Hebrew Bible, renders Abaddon as Apollea, while the Greek Apollyon comes from Apollumi, Apollyon, to destroy. The Greek term Apollyon, Apollyon, the destroyer, is the active participle of Apollumi, Apollyon, to destroy. Topic. Judaism Topic Topic Hebrew Bible Topic The term Abaddon appears 6 times in the Masoretic text of the Hebrew Bible. Abaddon means destruction or place of destruction or the realm of the dead and is accompanied by Sheol. Job chapter 26 verse 6, the grave shoal is naked before him, and destruction Abaddon has no covering. Job chapter 28 verse 22, destruction Abaddon and death say. Job chapter 31 verse 12, it is a fire that consumes to destruction Abaddon. Psalm chapter 88 verse 11, shall thy loving kindness be declared in the grave shoal or thy faithfulness in destruction Abaddon? Proverbs chapter 15 verse 11, hell shoal, and destruction Abaddon are before the Lord, how much more the hearts of the children of men? Proverbs chapter 27 verse 20, hell shoal, and destruction Abaddon are never full, so the eyes of man are never satisfied. KJV, 1611 Topic. Second Temple Era Texts Topic. The text of the Thanksgiving hymns, which was found in the Dead Sea Scrolls, tells of the shoal of Abaddon and of the torrents of Belial that burst into Abaddon. The biblical antiquities misattributed to Philo mentions Abaddon as a place, destruction, rather than an individual. Abaddon is also one of the compartments of Gehenna. By extension, it can mean an underworld abode of lost souls or Gehenna. Topic. Rabbinical literature Topic. In some legends, Abaddon is identified as a realm where the damned lie in fire and snow, one of the places in Gehenna that Moses visited. Topic. Christianity Topic. Topic. New Testament Topic. The Christian scriptures contain the first known depiction of Abaddon as an individual entity instead of a place. Revelation chapter 9 verse 11 A king, the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in Hebrew is Abaddon, and in Greek Apollyon, in Latin exterminans. Douay Rheims Bible In Revelation chapter 9 verse 11, Abaddon is described as destroyer the angel of the abyss, and as the king of a plague of locusts resembling horses with crowned human faces, women's hair, lion's teeth, wings, iron breastplates, and a tail with a scorpion's stinger that torments for five months anyone who does not have the seal of God on their foreheads. The symbolism of Revelation chapter 9 verse 11 leaves the identity of Abaddon open to interpretation. 
Protestant commentator Matthew Henry believed Abaddon to be the Antichrist, whereas the Jameson Fawcett Brown Commentary and Henry H. Haley identified the angel as Satan. Latter day Saints believe that the use of Abaddon in Revelation chapter 9 refers to the devil. In contrast, the Methodist publication The Interpreter's Bible states, Abaddon, however, is an angel not of Satan but of God, performing his work of destruction at God's bidding. Citing the context at Revelation chapter 20, verses 1 through 3. Jehovah's Witnesses also cite Revelation chapter 20, verses 1 to 3, where the angel having the key of the abyss is actually shown to be a representative of God, concluding that Abaddon is another name for Jesus after his resurrection. Topic: <laughs> Gnostic texts. Topic: In the third century Acts of Thomas, Abaddon is the name of a demon or the devil himself. Abaddon is given particularly important roles in two sources: a homily entitled. The Enthronement of Abashan, by Pseudo Timothy of Alexandria, and the Apocalypse of Bartholomew. In the homily by Timothy, Abashan was first named Muriel, and had been given the task by God of collecting the earth that would be used in the creation of Adam. Upon completion of this task, the angel was appointed as a guardian. Everyone, including the angels, demons, and corporeal entities, feared him. Abashan was promised that any who venerated him in life could be saved. Abaddon is also said to have a prominent role in the Last Judgment, as the one who will take the souls to the Valley of Husaphat. He is described in the Apocalypse of Bartholomew as being present in the tomb of Jesus at the moment of his resurrection. See also Abaddon in popular culture Hades Topic. References Topic. Topic. Bibliography Topic. Metziger, Bruce M. Ed., Michael D. Coogan ed. 1993. The Oxford Companion to the Bible. Oxford, UK, Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-504645-5, CS1 maint, Extra Text, Authors List link, Haley, Henry H., James E. Ruark ed. 2000. Haley's Bible Handbook. Grand Rapids, Michigan, Zondervan Publishing House. ISBN 0-310-22479-9, CS1 maint, Extra Text, Authors List link, McDonald, William, Art Farstad ed. 1995. Believer. S. Bible Commentary. Nashville, Tennessee, Thomas Nelson Publishers. ISBN 0-8407-1972-8. CS1 maint, Extra Text, Authors List link, 